All right, you made it through the first video. Now we're on to video number two. We're on page 74 now in your big book. Again, my hand is your hand. Um, let's go ahead and solve these. Okay, estimate using compatible numbers. Again, compatible means we're looking for numbers that we can divide easily. Okay, uh, rewrite the problem using the compatible numbers. So we have five and two thirds divided by uh, five eighths. So five and two thirds, that would be 5.66 and that would be a repeating decimal if we wrote it as a decimal. So that's gonna be closer to six holes. Now again, we'll, I'll go over the example again as well, what if we used five, okay? Um, we'll do that in a minute though. And divide it by five eighths. Okay, so what is five eighths closest to? Well. Some might say one, okay, and others might say, well, five eighths is pretty close to four eighths, and four eighths is equivalent to one half, okay? So one half is going to be a very close estimate to what five eighths is. So that's going to give us a very close answer to the actual answer. And that's what we want. In our estimates, we want it to be easy numbers to work with but still as close to the actual answer as we can get, okay? So now if we divide uh, six divided by a half, now we could work this out and do the whole copy change flip, um, but also, you know, if, you're, if you think logically, you might be able to figure this out in your head, thinking, okay, how many halves are there in six? Well, how many halves are there in one hole? One hole has two halves, so six holes is going to have 12 halves, right? Because there's going to be two halves in every one. Six times two is 12. So that's going to give you 12, okay? So five and two-thirds divided by five-eighths is about 12, okay? Now let's look and see what would happen if we had used five and one. If we had used five and one, we're gonna get an answer of five, which now we're getting further away, quite a bit further away uh, from our actual answer, especially when we're dealing with numbers this small. Okay, so, so be careful of that. Make sure you uh, use compatible numbers, but compatible numbers that are as close to the original number that you started with as possible, okay? One half would only be one eighth away from five eighths, but one whole would be three eighths away from the actual. Okay, so using the um, one half is going to give us a much more accurate estimate. Okay. All right, let's go on to part B. Seven eighths. Well, seven eighths is very close to um, eight eighths and eight eighths would be one whole. And then one fourth, well, that's already a pretty easy number to work with. I mean, think about dollar and break it up into four parts. That's four quarters. If you have one of those four quarters, one divided by, or excuse me, how many quarters will go into one? Well, how many quarters are in a dollar? There's four. How many fourths are in one? If we take one fourth, plus one fourth, plus one fourth, plus one fourth, we're at one whole or four fourths, okay? So seven eighths divided by one fourth is about four. All right, thanks uh, for watching and I'll see you on the next video where we'll go over a few more examples.